This week we see Garmin announce a new feature that simplifies the process of getting routes and courses from third-party mapping services onto their GPS units. They call this Garmin Connect Courses API. Oh, hello there. Now, DC Ramica has a quick tips rundown on how to set this up for Strava and Komoot. I will link in the video description below to that. But I want to run through a few extras today. So, from the Garmin press release, the integration allows users to import their route files created through third-party applications like Strava and Komoot and will automatically download to a compatible Garmin device. So there have been a number of interpretations of that press release in the media this week, and they turn out to be misleading if you want to understand how it all works. So the reason I'm digging into these additional details today is because after getting this set up earlier in the week and having a few teething problems, this is all the information that I wish I had have known before I started digging into this. First up on my list here, the courses and routes do not get sent from Strava and Komoot directly to your Garmin devices. That's not how it works. In a nutshell, what takes place is the third party services such as Strava or Komoot connect to your Garmin Connect profile and it's from there they'll sync the selected routes or copy selected routes from those services into the Garmin Connect courses list. And it's from there they get pushed over to your Garmin Edge units or watches or other compatible devices. And that's done either via Wi-Fi, Garmin Connect Mobile via Bluetooth or via USB cable. So there is an intermediary involved. And that's how Garmin have been able to ensure this works with newer Garmin head units and watches or units from the past. If the unit that you have from Garmin syncs with Garmin Connect courses, you'll get these new courses. This is definitely a neat way of doing things because there's no change needed on the end device here or on the watch here. If these are syncing, it will just work and pull down the new courses from my Garmin Connect. To find the list of courses on your Garmin Connect profile, that's hidden under the training menu and then courses from there. I'd much prefer to see courses on the main left menu so they're easier to find. Uh, the sync from Garmin Connect uh, to your device is, oh, it's meant to be simple. Um, it's not always the case though. Uh, via Wi-Fi, when the units are first powered on, they will go off and connect to your Wi-Fi and do a sync. Or if they're shut down to sleep mode and woken up from sleep mode, they'll query Wi-Fi again and hopefully sync. Alternatively, if you have the Garmin Connect mobile app on your phone connected to your device and it's turned on, when a new course enters the course queue to sync, it should flag these devices to sync. Sometimes you'll need to go into the app and just manually sync that. Now more things of note after a few hours of me syncing and deleting things and resyncing again and finding out how it all works. Uh, once your Strava is connected via Garmin Connect, uh, you need to star routes on Strava to flag them to be synced over to your Garmin Connect profile and then from there it will sync over to your devices. If you already have a starred route on Strava, you need to unstar it, restar it, that'll flag it to get resynced to your Garmin Connect profile and then to your device. Notice I'm always noting the intermediary there, it's not direct. Uh, Komoot, it will import a bucket load of existing routes from your Komoot profile and any new route from there. Another thing of note, the sync is one direction, not that one direction, one way. Uh, from third parties to Garmin Connect is one direction and from Garmin Connect to your GPS device, that's also the single direction. Unstarring or deleting a route on Strava or Komoot does not remove them from Garmin Connect and deleting them from Garmin Connect will not remove them from your third party and will not remove them from your end device either. Meaning this doesn't scale too well if you have hundreds and hundreds of routes. If you do need a quick way of deleting them, you can plug a USB in and go and nuke all the routes from here, but just do be aware of that. It's just one direction for the syncing. Next up, to find your third party connections on Garmin Connect, it's not under connections. No, you have to go to account settings, account information and applications. And from there, you'll see all the connected applications to your Garmin Connect profile. Uh, do note you can choose not to push activities from Garmin Connect over to Strava. You can link Strava just to pull in the routes in that direction. There's a lot of directions happening here. Uh, for me, it's a godsend because I upload probably three or four of these per ride or per uh, activity that I do indoors to compare power files. Uh, this week I accidentally flooded Strava with multiple links. So that's now toggled off. If you're having any issues with that, there's the toggle switches right there. Remembering that's under account settings, information, 
applications, which is where the connections are, that's not under connections. Next in my list of notes here, if you modify a course or a route on a third party that has been synced already, it will re-sync those changes over to your Garmin Connect profile and then over to your device on Next Sync, as long as it's starred on Strava to be flagged all the way through. Next up, third party courses imported to Garmin Connect are private and you can't change them to public. If you wanna make those courses public on your profile, you need to duplicate the course and then make it public from there. So just a small catch with that. Uh, Garmin Connect courses are also marked with their source of where they came from. So you can mouse over or click the course to find out where it came from. So if you're trying to debug where courses are showing up from or not, that's how you get that done. So the takeaways from today's video are as follows. Now, the sync is not direct as reported a number of times. It doesn't go from a third party straight to your unit. There is an intermediary there and that is Garmin Connect. Uh, if you're having issues seeing your routes on your device, you know where to look. First place to check would be Garmin Connect training and courses. If they're not showing up there, you need to check your connected applications within Garmin Connect. You can get to those by clicking Garmin Connect, account settings, account information, applications. Clear? Clear. We're good. Okay, finally, this is a software rollout. So all of this could change at any point in time. Okay, so now you're up to speed with all the ins and outs and some additional info of how this Garmin Connect Courses API works, but more importantly, where to look if it doesn't work. If you're gonna be doing some routing in the near future on your head units and using Climb Pro and all those funky goodness things, I'd highly recommend getting this set up now with your connected accounts and making sure it works. Because the last thing you wanna do is go for a ride, have some navigation working and try to sort it out at the last minute and have something not work. Set it up prior, should be good to go, happy days. All right, thanks for watching.